I'm in the Transfiguration classroom. Here's Flitwick's Charms classroom. you how you died. You're the first one who ever asked. I died in this very storm. I remember it so well. The door was locked and I was crying because Olive Hornby had teased me about my glasses. Then I heard somebody come in. They said something odd in a different language, I think. It was a boy speaking. So I unlocked the door to tell him to go and use his own bathroom. And then I died. Where was this boy standing? Over there by the sinks. One of them has never worked. Not as long as I've been here. I wonder if that's where the entrance to the chamber is. Open! Open! That's not working. Maybe if I try parcel tongue. Open! That's got it. Got him. He was packed and ready to go. What's that? I think it's the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Well, then, you won't be needing me. Cheers, boys. Have to go warm up my broom. You're not through yet. Down you go. No! Come on, Harry. This is it. I know. The adventure ends here, boys. Run! Say goodbye to your memories. Obliviate! Ron! Are you okay? Ron! I'm here! I'm okay! Go on, Jimmy, Harry! Wait there with Lockhart. If I'm not back in an hour... Anyway, see it!
Wake up! She won't wake. Tom? Tom Riddle? She's still alive, but only just. Little Ginny's been writing in my old diary for months. She poured out her soul to me. It made me stronger until I had enough power to pour a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets, just as I had long ago, before I became Lord Voldemort. No! <laughs> it is me, Harry. Ginny told me all about you. I'm afraid that your second year magic tricks will be worthless against the power of the greatest sorcerer in the world. The greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore is gone! Now I'm going to teach you a lesson. Let's match the powers of Tom Riddle, heir of Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter.
That's a phoenix. Forks! A sword from Dumbledore. No doubt afraid to come himself. Well, it won't save you, Harry Potter. Speak to me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts Four. Boy! 
Harry, oh Harry, I wanted to tell you. It was me, Harry, but I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me do it. It's all right. Riddle's finished. Come on, Ginny. Let's get out of here. Hello, Harry. Professor Dumbledore! I thought you'd been suspended. Lucius Malfoy had threatened to curse the board if they didn't remove me. But they decided to stand up to him. Now that the heir is gone and the basilisk is destroyed, they know Hagrid is innocent too. He'll be back in his hut soon. What about Lucius Malfoy? Will he cause any more trouble? I doubt it. We can assume it was him who got the diary to Ginny. He daren't do it again unless he wants the Ministry of Magic after him. About Professor Lockhart, I'm afraid he's lost his memory. Oh dear. What will he think about now that he can't think about himself? Just don't give his job to Professor Snape. He's too, um, valuable as a potions teacher. You've all performed brilliantly. It must have been a terrible experience. It was. We spent much more time in a girl's bathroom than I would have liked. Being petrified was awful, but I learned a great deal from it. I'm going to write a paper about it for extra credit. When you've got your friends to help you, you can accomplish anything. And nothing is too awful. Well, almost nothing. Looking like Goyle came close. There's a banquet waiting for you downstairs. What do you propose for the first toast? To friendship. Loyalty. And courage, but a friendship most of all. The rest of the final term passed in a haze of blazing sunshine. Hogwarts was back to normal with only a few small differences. Defense against the dark arts classes were cancelled and Lucius Malfoy had been sacked as a school governor. Draco was no longer strutting around the school as though he owned the place. On the contrary, he looked resentful and sulky. On the other hand, Ginny Wee was perfectly happy again. This is our last day at Hogwarts. Yeah, the only thing left to do is the House Cup ceremony in the Great Hall. If you have anything you want to do at Hogwarts, you'd better do it before you go to the House Cup ceremony. How about a trade, Harry? What do you have? I have a silver wizard card. Never even shuffled before. Your purchase will make you the envy of your friends, Harry. Attention, please. Students, attention. The headmaster wants to address you. Silence. It isn't too late to lose house points, you know. This house cup ceremony brings the school year to an end. And an eventful year it was. Without further ado, I shall now present the cup to the Hogwarts house with the most points. Think we'll take it again this year? After you and Harry saved Hogwarts, I should think so. In fourth place, Ravenclaw. Thank you for not saying last place. In third place, Hufflepuff. Thank you. We find finishing in the middle to be quite adequate. And now for the second place house. It'll be you, Gryffindors. You're naturally second best. You won't steal the house cup from Slytherin like you did last year. After barely escaping disqualification, Slytherin... What? That means... First place, and the House Cup goes to Gryffindor. Yes! We did it again!